Hi friends, today we will see about Tobin Index or Rapid Shallow Breathing Index for predicting readiness of weaning from mechanical ventilation. So let's begin. The discontinuing mechanical ventilation is a two-step process. First one is readiness testing, second one is weaning. The readiness testing refers to the evaluation of objective clinical criteria whether the patient is ready to begin weaning from mechanical ventilation. Rapid Shallow Breathing Index, that is Tobin Index, is one of the best studied and commonly used uh, weaning predictors. The second one is weaning. It is a process of decreasing ventilator support and allow the patient to assume a greater proportion of their ventilation. And then the extubation considered once the patient demonstrates their breathing without any mechanical ventilator support. Both unnecessary delay and the premature extubation have been shown to be associated with the undesirable effects on patient outcome. Like, uh, prolonged mechanical ventilation, uh, increased length of uh, ICU stay and other complications. So the decision should be balanced and it's very important. In 1991, Dr. Yang and Dr. Torben described rapid shallow breathing index as the ratio of uh, respiratory rate to tidal volume with a threshold value of 105. If the value is greater than 105 breaths per minute per liter, is being highly uh, predictive of weaning failure and if the value is less than 105 is associated with the weaning success. Now we will see how to calculate the RSBI value. This is the equation here RSBI rapid shallow breathing index is equal to RR respiratory rate divided by tidal volume in liters. So here suppose the RR is equal to 28 and the tidal volume 350 ml so if you want to take this one to liters divided by 1000 will come 0 0.350 liters so rsbi is equal to rr 28 divided by 0.350 will come 80 this value is less than 105 and here so if it is less than 105 uh, breaths per minute per minute per liter this patient is a candidate for weaning. Next example, suppose RR is 26 uh, breaths per minute and tidal volume is 250 ml. We need to change this one to liters, so divided by 1000 will come 0 0.250. Liter. So RSBI will come 26 divided by 0 0.250 will come 104. This is still uh, 104 breaths per minute per liter. This is still one less than 105. We can start weaning if the other criteria are met. Here's the next example. RR is 36 and tidal volume is 200 ml. So we'll divide it by 1000 will come 0 0.200 liter so the RSBI will come 36 divided by 0 0.200 to be 180 breaths per minute per liter so this is uh, greater than 105 
So this patient is not a candidate for weaning and extubation as per RSBI value. The another one, RR12. Tidal volume, 400. Divided by 1000, will come 0 0.4. 0, 0 liter. The RSBI 12 divided by 0 0.400 0 will come there. Here the score is 30. The RSBI score less than 65 indicating a relatively low respiratory rate compared to tidal volume. Generally considered as indication for weaning if the other criteria are met. RSBI is an important predictor of weaning outcome. A serial RSBI and RSBI rate have shown a better predictive value than the single RSBI measurement. However, interpretation of RSBI must take in consideration of certain uh, technical aspects like uh, ventilator settings and the patient condition. In patients whose primary concern is airway protection and other cases like poor cuff and increased uh, secretion, the liberation me from mechanical ventilation should not only be relied on RSBI. I hope you enjoy my class. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.